Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel here at Muddy Thumper again. So I just wanted to show you guys some updates on the flatbed build. We're starting to get her done and in this video we're pretty much going to conclude it. So hopefully you guys are liking how she's looking so far. So yeah, let's rock on and let's start tackling some sheet metal. So I got the 16 gauge, actually no it was 14 gauge, I um, mixed that up. 14 gauge, so we're going to chop, chop it up in this video, we're going to make a back piece. We're gonna make a gas tank holder for like the, the cap and filler nozzle and you guys will see some uh, LED tail lights and stuff getting wired in so alright guys let's get to it and thanks for coming and clicking on the video and let's see what we does. I'm just here marking out my uh, lights for the rear. This was a pain in the butt. It took me lots of tries to get the other side matching, as you can see. <laughs> but I finally got it. I am happy with it. Nice angle. And uh, yeah, all right, let's go ahead now and get the plasma cutter running and see if I can cut this half straight. <laughs> we'll find out. So guys, I'm just back out here in the shed. It is rainy all uh, weekend night here. So i um, trying to get some work done. And over here, I have this universal gas cap cover thing. I think it's actually belonged to a Jeep. So I'm just making up a little mount. My plan is to basically have this on side the flatbed, kind of sticking down and weld it in place because it doesn't really take any weight. It's literally just gonna be holding my gas cover in place. And as you can see on the back, it basically has these little tabs that look like they just push in a bit. Yeah, they just they slot in. So I'm just going to trace it out, do my best with the plasma cutter, see if I can get a nice snug fit, and then uh, go ahead and stick my gas cover onto this. And we're getting down there. So after this is done, I'm going to be tackling uh, the taillights for now, or for the night, I should say, because as you can see, I still don't have any done here. is starting to shape up as you guys can see i'm just fitting the lights here i know i haven't been doing a whole lot of filming got the, the gas cover in place she's painted up a bit more put a few self tappers just to hold it in doesn't need much force got these back pieces all painted up so yeah i am putting these in place i'm going to silicone around it as well just help keep the lights in place helps keep water out as well some little bit of clear silicone but i am liking it nice Okay guys, so we're getting some nice bit of progress here now. I'm kind of cluing her up and getting the truck basically street worthy again. So that means I have to now wire the lights. So it shouldn't be too hard. Got the gas can thing in place there. And uh, I might drill some holes, put the carriage bolts in for the planks today. If not, I might do it another day. But basically the goal is to get the truck street worthy again here now. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. I think it looked pretty cool. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead now. Let's... Uh, Put some silicone around the lights to keep the water out from getting in and whatnot. And um, let's figure out how the wiring works on the, the taillights. Shouldn't be too hard. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is the wire harness. I got the, the ends ready to be stripped here. So now we just got to figure out what the colors are. And then ideally we're just going to plug it right into the harness. And boom, we have our LED lights. Um, I'm going to have like the quick flashing because it's not going to recognize the resistance of the bulb temporarily. I actually have the resistors ordered. They're just not here yet and I need to get the truck back on the road. So for now, we are hooking it up just the way it is. Guys, so I think I kind of just deciphered this wire harness. So I will be, be sure to let you guys know if it works or not. But um, 
These are the factory bulbs that I cut off. So you can see we have blue and orange. We have a black with pink and a black. So black is ground. Um, that black with pink is a switched power. And this one is your turn signal. And likewise, the green with the orange is the other turn signal. Should be one second. I'll just pull up the, I found a diagram online. So orange but light blue is passenger side. So that one right here is passenger side. Orange with light green is driver side. Perfect. So everything else, um, like these little two wire ones right here, you can see it's just black with pink and a black. So the black is ground. The other one switch power, as you can see, just uh, switch power and ground. So there it is. This is the one I was looking for. It just got two wires coming out. It's just for a reverse. It just powers reverse when needed. And the other ones has your turn signals with brake light and stuff like that, and the running lights incorporated. So I'm going to go ahead now, put this on the truck. Okay guys, so you can see I got her wired. I gotta actually solder these, but I'm actually gonna stop out to the local Princess Auto, pick up some uh, license plate lights. But just so in case you guys are building something like this, if you wanna see my wiring, scoop down here now. Yeah, now. All right, so the inside one right here, this is my reverse light. As you can see, I'm not using the red. I'm using the white, which is a ground. I'm using the black, which is a hot or power for the reverse light. And it goes into the factory lights right here. There is a black, which is a ground. So it's gonna look kind of, or sound kind of dumb, but a white goes into the black. And the black, which is the power, goes into the black with pink. And this truck is a 2003 Ranger. With my other one here, it's very similar. Once again, on the LED, the white is a ground. The black, I got it going down to black with pink, which is a switched power. And the red, which is a trigger, goes into as you can see, it's an like orange, green and orange, and that's your flasher. The other side is virtually identical to this. And the only thing that changes is that this is going to be a slightly different color. It's going to be orange with um, slight, light blue on this type of truck. But yeah, this is my temporary setup. Don't mind the junk in the back. I am Once it gets this truck together, I can actually get clean all this yard up. Yeah, guys, I am going to pick up some nice little LED lights because you can see I got the factory um, wiring down right here. This is for the license plate lights. I'm going to pick those up now, come back here, drink some beer, and solder this together. So hopefully you found this helpful, guys. Hey, guys, so this is kind of funny. I literally just finished soldering, wiring this whole rear end up. And guess what showed up at the door like an hour, half hour later? These are my resistors to stop the tail lights from flashing quickly when we use a turn. So they're extremely easy. All we're gonna do is tap into uh, tap in parallel. So basically, just tap into this wire, which is our turn. That's the green with the uh, orange, and tap into the ground, which is white on the tail light itself and uh, black. Tap it across this in parallel. That way, it senses the resistance, and the truck thinks that it has a normal bulb. So they're just resistors. Pretty easy. Eh? I'm just gonna trim this down to size and solder in place okay guys i think i got her done i just written and retightened all the bolts on the bed and uh all the lights are wired up for the rear i got my little uh license plate lights there pretty happy with it so um yeah i'm gonna try test her out now the only thing i'm gonna do which i'll probably do after this video is over i'm gonna drill uh, a bolt here set of bolts here just carriage bolts it's going to be, each board's going to have just two. That's all. But other than that, I am happy. She is complete. All right, guys. So thanks for watching again here on the channel. Now that I got this project done, I can actually start cleaning up the place. I got a huge mess going on here. All right, guys. See you again soon. Muddy is out. Little barrel is running again. See you guys.
you again later.